Hi everyone, how are you doing? I thought I would vlog today because today's actually probably going to be quite a fun one. Um, we have tickets to see Russell Brand tonight, which I'm really excited about. And it seems to have just come around really quickly. Like I booked these tickets quite a while ago, like February time, and just sort of put it to the back of my mind. But now it's actually come around and it's tonight. And yeah, I can't wait. We're going to see him at the Cambridge Corn Exchange, which is about an hour away from where we live. So I think we're going to pop into Cambridge for a little while beforehand and probably get something to eat, mooch a couple of shops and yeah, just have a really good day. Before that though, I'm going to film another video and get some work and some bits and pieces done before we leave the house and we've got to take the dogs out and yeah, just general stuff. So how have you all been? I feel like it's been ages since I actually done a daily vlog, probably because it has been. Um, we have been really busy actually. We have been oh, like clearing out our house, decluttering because we're moving. Our house went up for sale last week and we've got viewings on it starting in a couple of days. Um, we've also got an open day on it this weekend because we wanted to like get the dogs out of the house and have like as many people view it as possible in one go. Um, and we've had so much interest on our house. I'm not really surprised because it is quite a unique and individual house it's a converted pub and it's really big like there's loads of rooms and it's got like a converted basement which is quite a good unique selling point but yeah I don't know like we were so focused on finding somewhere to live ourselves that I think I didn't even think about like this place not selling or any issues with this and then as ours has gone up for sale and stuff I've started thinking oh my god like I've not even thought about that side of it um moving stressful <laughs> I mean when we moved here, it will be four years ago this September, we moved into this house and I said I would never move again. Like that process was so stressful. I think it actually contributed to my anxiety and panic attacks that developed that year. Um, I think moving here was a massive stress and the dustman's just arrived so there's loads of noise outside now um yeah i i literally said i'd never do it again but it's funny how time is a healer and we get bored in one place for a long time i don't think me and andy are ever going to be the kind of people to live somewhere for like 10 to 20 years um we like to move around we like sort of fresh starts and starting again kind of thing i mean we've been together we got together 2009 so it's like eight years in eight years we've lived in one two three yeah in eight years we've had three different places that we've lived at so i guess that's quite a lot we have actually seen a really nice house though already um we viewed one last week that we've got our eye on and we may be proceeding with but we yeah that's all i'm gonna say on it at the moment so yeah our life over the past few weeks has literally just felt like since we got back from copenhagen it's just felt like all we've been doing is selling stuff um decluttering having a massive clear out um i'm actually going to do a video on my whole thoughts on, on minimizing and minimalism um since watching the documentary so keep an eye out for that other video because it's just had such an impact on us and that's all we've been focused on the last few weeks and it's gone so well i've got rid of so much stuff and the house already feels better for it i wanted the house to feel like really clean and clear for viewing so that's gone really well and it's just taken up a lot of our energy really it, all it feels like we've been doing is going to the gym um, doing work and sorting out the house. Um, the next couple of days we've got to have a massive clear up. We're doing like a full spring clean and tidying up the garden and everything. And Andy's currently filling in holes and doing a bit of painting. So hopefully by the time the viewing start, this place is gonna feel and look like brand new. Fingers crossed, that's the plan anyway. And how are you two? Yeah, you two. I think they're quite excited about the prospect of moving, even though they don't really understand, but they're going to go from like a courtyard garden like this to hopefully lots of grass and space for running around. So they're going to love it. Eight o'clock. I think we sit, we've got quite good seats actually. I think, yeah, we're on the ground floor on the stalls and yeah, I made sure we had like an end of aisle seat because of my whole seat anxiety thing. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this. South for sale sign. That went up really quick actually. I said to Andy, 
we need to let the neighbours know before the sign goes up. And then I got home and the sign was up and we were like, oh. <laughs> Standard lunch today. I don't know why I've got a pen on my plate. <laughs> What have you got? <coughs> chili, bean chili, quinoa. Mm. I don't know why, I've just got no appetite lately. I'm just like, especially like early on in the day, like breakfast, I've got no appetite for. Um, lunch, I can just about squeeze down. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I've just completely lost my appetite lately. We are about to hit the road to Cambridge, but first of all, I've got to drop off the key to the dog sitter. It's just been really hard getting out of the front door. I picked up this camouflage little jacket. It's just like really thin and it's got like a, a cotton hoodie hood on it. Um, I got it from H&M and it's proved to be really useful in this nice warm but slightly cold spring weather that we're having. Whenever Andy sees me in my camo jacket, he always decides to put on his camo jumper and I'm just like, it's double camo, we can't do it. your camo jumper <laughs> copy me uh yeah <laughs> we've just come into cambridge and it's chucking it down look at the weather not cool we've both come out dressed for spring i don't think the umbrella's in the booth but luckily where we park is like inside the shopping centre so when we get there we can kill some time inside the shopping centre. At some point we are going to have to walk outside. Everywhere. I don't even know when sales are now, but they seem to just be all the time. We've come all the way to Cambridge to buy socks. <laughs> Film me doing something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Had it in my head I was going to get a red striper top today, but I've no not seen any. Tops. Oh yeah, I don't really want to be there. We should have left a bit later because the rain is meaning that we're not really up for walking around much and now we're like really early um, but I think we're gonna go for Azizi's we were contemplating Yo's sushi dogs on camera all three dogs <laughs> yeah we always go to Yo sushi and I haven't tried um, Zizi's new vegan menu so might fancy a pizza and head there and try and draw it out for a couple of hours that's where we'll be going later in there corn exchange Zizi's here looks massive. We haven't been to Zizi's for ages, have we? No. They've given me the big red book. <laughs> the vegan menu that's called Allergen and Dietary Requirements menu. Vegan menu. It takes the fun out of it a little bit, doesn't it? It does a little bit, yeah. We went in for three courses because we were trying to like draw out this couple of hours we wait in before the show. Pizza was massive. I tried to take a photograph of it and it wouldn't even fit in the photo frame. Enjoyed your pizza? Yeah, it was good. I feel like it could have done with less cheese. Yeah, that's the first time um, they've actually put like a lot of the vegan cheese on it. It was quite runny, um, but it was okay. But they stopped doing the caramelised pecans on the dessert, which I used to love. Boo hoo. Anyway, we're going to get a hot drink now. Oh, it was cold out there. 
I'm waiting in the queue. I thought it was going to be warm today, but it's not. Oh, hang on a minute, this isn't my vlog. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Just come out of Russell Brand. It was really good, really funny. Smashed it. You did smash it. Yeah, I won't say too much about it because some of you might be going to see the tour because it's on until I think near enough till like the end of the year. Um, but we had such good seats, really, really good seats. And at one point, he was literally right next to me within touching distance. It's about two foot away, isn't it? Yeah. When he come into the audience. Back in the car, time to go home now. And he's gonna get us home quick. <laughs> within the speed limit. Of course. <laughs> Quite looking forward to getting home to the dogs now. Um, the dogs that have popped in and gave them their dinner earlier. Oh, look at this ticket queue. Oh my God, the queue for the car park here is ridiculous. I remember last time we come actually, do you remember? We were like so... at the end of the queue and it took ages. So it's about quarter past 10 now. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog because we're just gonna go home and go to bed now. Tomorrow's not gonna be the funnest day ever. We've got so much cleaning to do. We just wanna get our house looking absolutely brand new in time for the viewings on Thursday. So we're just gonna be cleaning. And yeah, hopefully by the next time I vlog, our house will have sold and we will have found a house as well. And keep an eye out for my minimalism uh, video my little chatty video that i done today that will probably um, be published or be put live after this one at some point and i'll catch you guys soon bye see ya <laughs>